Unofficial photography from inside and around Area 51 is strictly forbidden to keep the base's classified operations a secret. Those who get too close to the installation will be greeted by the Camo Dudes, a group of mysterious armed government contractors. The U.S. government barely acknowledges Area 51's existence. However, thanks to the CIA's declassification of several images in 2011, a picture revealed the site's infamous sanitation team. In 1963, the story began when a Lockheed A-12 reconnaissance aircraft built for the CIA crashed north of Area 51. The spy plane could fly almost undetectable to radars and cross the continental United States in only 70 minutes. Test pilot Ken Collins, codenamed Ken Colmar, told National Geographic he had been testing the supersonic engine at a low altitude. Suddenly, quote, the airplane pitched up and went up and got inverted and went into a flat incipient spin. Even though the plane was upside down, the pilot managed to eject and was picked up by three civilians who gave him a ride in the opposite direction of Area 51. When they asked about the plane, Collins said it carried a nuclear weapon to ensure they wouldn't go back to the site. According to National Geographic, the pilot was given hypnosis and a truth serum to guarantee he relayed all the facts of the incident correctly. Historian David Robard said the CIA needed to cover up the crash to protect the engineering and aeronautical advances of the Oxcart program. As part of their effort, Curious civilians were told that a nuclear bomb was on board and that they should evacuate the area. Meanwhile, the workers hid the wreckage under tarps to maintain the project's secrecy. This picture shows parts of the aircraft scattered on the ground, including the two engines and the rear fuselage. A quick response team was immediately sent to the crash site, where they used bulldozers and cranes to clean the remains of the aircraft. CIA overseers considered dynamiting the debris so nobody could identify the plane. The workers used blowtorches to dismantle the larger parts of the plane, like the wings and fuselage. They then transported the remains in boxes back to the base. However, after the picture's declassification, pieces of titanium belonging to the aircraft were still found at the site. Tunnels are rumored to connect Area 51 to classified aircraft test sites through America's desert and the Mountain West. This supposedly allowed the CIA to keep the crash a secret for 50 years, and has possibly allowed the hiding of even more sensitive incidents from public view. Bohemian Grove. Since 1878, the Bohemian Grove campground has been an annual gathering site for the world's richest and most powerful men. This gentleman's club attracts titans of business and government officials to a secluded redwood forest outside of San Francisco, California. Bohemian Grove's purpose is to escape what they call, quote, the frontier culture and focus on civilized men's interests. The secret, invitation-only nature of the event means that only a few outsiders have actually seen what happens at the camp. Rumors run rampant of bizarre ceremonies and rituals that serve to bond together those who allegedly decide the world's affairs. The famous men that gather in the campground are told that, quote, weaving spiders come not here, meaning that businesses aren't allowed to discuss during their gathering. However, members of the club commonly retell the story of how the Manhattan Project, which led to the invention of the atomic bomb, was planned there in 1942. Some images have captured famous men while at Bohemian Grove. For example, this picture shows U.S. former Presidents Ronald Reagan and Richard Nixon at the campground in the summer of 1967. Former government leaders are usually members of this club, and after 40 years of membership, are granted a quote, old guard status, which allows them reserved seating at the Grove's daily talks. One of the main symbols of the club is patron Saint John of Nepomuk. A wood carving of him stands at the shore of the club's lake. It's supposed to symbolize the secrecy the members of the Grove have to keep. Bohemian Grove has been infiltrated several times. The earliest pictures of the gathering's mysterious rituals were from the 1900s. The images were discovered in a set of photographs marked as being taken or collected by Gabriel Moulin, a San Francisco photographer who was a member of the club. The pseudo-pagan ceremonies appear to depict staged sacrifices and occult magic, such as this ritual identified as the Power Party. The main event is centered on the cremation of Care, a yearly performance in which a spirit called Care is cremated by the player's hero. The event occurs in front of a 40-foot-tall owl shrine. The owl is the mascot of the club, and is supposed to symbolize wisdom. All members attend the event in disguise. In this picture, an elite member of the Grove is going through a purging of worldly concerns. The hooded figure is another senior member, responsible for guiding him through the purge. The event is still performed today, and was recently documented by filmmaker Alex Jones. When asked about the footage, a spokesperson told the Washington Post that the performance is, quote, a traditional musical drama celebrating nature and summertime. U.S. Supreme Court Hearing This 1932 photo by Eric Salomon is believed to be the first and one of the only photos taken of a U.S. Supreme Court hearing. K. 
cameras are forbidden inside the chamber by Federal Rule 53. But Salaman is said to have sneaked it in for Fortune magazine by faking a broken arm and hiding it in his sling. This photo shows the old Senate chamber of the Capitol building. The second photo was taken five years later by an unidentified woman. It's believed to be the only image that captures all nine justices seated in frame. The author of the photo remains a mystery, but it's said she was able to position her camera with the lens through a hole in her purse. This final photo, published in 1937, is believed to be the last confirmed image from inside the chamber. Little is known about its origin, but it appeared in the New York Daily News, along with a story about the newly seated Justice Hugo Black. The two final pictures were taken in the current United States Supreme Court building, which was not completed until 1935. In 2014, advocacy group 99 Rise took this two-minute-long footage, the first ever recording of the Supreme Court in session. It's a mystery how the group managed to sneak in a camera through metal detectors not only once, but twice in a month. Fuhrer Bunker As World War II was coming to an end, Adolf Hitler spent his final days hiding with his staff in the infamous Fuhrer Bunker. This 30-room construction had two air raid shelters connected by a staircase, a bulkhead, and a steel door. Hitler married Eva Braun inside the bunker on April 29, 1945, only 40 hours before both surrendered to their impending fate. After the fall of Berlin, Soviet troops tried in vain to demolish Hitler's bunker. The Red Army eventually gave up on destroying the 13-foot concrete roof until it was buried and erased from records in 1959. The site sat neglected and abandoned for decades, and the subject of the bunker remained taboo. That all changed in 1987, when the East German government began clearing the area for a new housing complex. The excavation uncovered an underground complex that was flooded, but still mostly intact. The site offered a glimpse of forbidden history. When photographer Robert Conrad was riding a bus by the construction site, he noticed by chance the massive underground structure that looked like a bunker. With his curiosity excited, Conrad started researching the site, which didn't appear to have a particularly restrictive security system. Posing as a construction worker, the photographer snuck in a practica camera with a 35mm wide-angle lens into the Nazi bunker. There, he explored the hidden labyrinth, some of which extended directly under the Berlin Wall and into the death strip separating East and West Berlin. Conrad risked his life and freedom to capture these photos of the rusting and crumbling site in 30 clandestine visits, even managing a self-portrait in front of the Führer bunker, which was flooded with water too high to enter. Through the decades, the site's been looted, and none of the Führer's belongings remain. Once, Conrad came across a man on a similar quest, who was drawing the remains of the bunker with a charcoal and piece of paper. Each carried on with their task, without saying much to the other, afraid to be caught. And although the police found him one time while he was inside the bunker, they let him go with nothing more than a warning. His quest ended in 1989, when the site was once and for all filled with rubble and gravel. Denver International Airport Ever since the opening of Denver International Airport in 1995, rumors have swirled of a secret underground facility beneath its floors. Contractors working on the project alleged to seeing underground tunnels and bunker entrances unrelated to airport operations. There was raised speculation after mysterious unidentified cost overruns totaled over $2 billion. There was also the failure and subsequent abandonment of an underground luggage conveyor belt system that many people believed was never intended to work. Some are also suspicious of Freemason symbols and strange images that were incorporated into airport modeling and its design including an eerie alien drawing that's said to have been discovered on the wall of one of the secret underground floors. Author Alex Christopher believed that something was amiss with the airport. She eventually met engineer Phil Schneider, who was involved in the construction. In 1994, both of them snuck into the airport before it was inaugurated. They allegedly took these photos of the unexplained tunnels and a secret runway. The pictures highlighted the existence of a large and mysterious steel door that supposedly seals off a 55-square-mile empty cavern. In her recount of the visit, Christopher said that the supposed lowest level was hot, unlike how cold basements usually are. Schneider pointed out that the heat rose from beneath their feet, signaling the possible existence of many other secret lower levels. Christopher also claimed that there are two other hidden runways, which have been covered under four inches of dirt. But what's the purpose of the mysterious underground base? According to Christopher, it could be used as a medical research lab, a prison, or military accommodations.